Today's People in Places takes us to historic Washington. For the folks who live there, it's a place they love. And visitors, well, they love it too. Now a female veteran-owned business is bringing locals and out-of-towners together in a truly unique place. It's a piece of Washington's history. We value community here. The Bowers Trip House, built in 1921 on North Market Street, is now a boutique hotel. We love to open our doors for different opportunities to let other people see what's going on here. Ellen Brabo bought the home and opened the L Hotel in 2022. A veteran of the U.S. Army, Ellen lived all over the world before calling Washington home. I worked as a public affairs officer. I was stationed in South Korea and in Germany, um, spent six months in Poland. But after transitioning out of the military during the pandemic, Ellen dreamed of a career in hospitality. That's when she came across the Bowers Trip House on Facebook of all places. I felt like it met all the needs of what I was looking for, for a space where you could create a boutique hotel-esque concept, but still keep that intimate at home environment, your home away from home, right? But for me, it was more about the community that I felt here when I came to Washington. The hotel features five guest rooms, plus a billiards room and a sunroom with activities for all ages. Outside, you'll find a huge front porch and in the back, a gazebo with a fire pit. You can even check out a bicycle for a ride around Washington. It's a great honor. It is a great honor. Um, it is not lost on me that I get to be a part of the storied history, not only of Washington, but of the Bowers Trip House. So I'm the fifth owner. Um, a former mayor lived in this house. I mean, big shoes to fill, right? But I think it just really speaks to the fact that this is a space meant to be shared. Um, it's not meant to be kept to myself. It's meant for others to come and enjoy. And that doesn't mean just out of town visitors. Ellen wants locals to stop by too. Uh, one of the things that's been really fun with the hotel is thinking outside the box with how we can use the space, right? So it's not just coming to stay for a night. We host yoga once a month on the front porch, which has been really fun for our community members, but then from out of town guests can attend these as well. And then there's those who choose the L to make the memory of a lifetime. When I personally took on the property, I didn't think about somebody wanting to get married in the backyard. But then when somebody knocked on the door and asked, it's been so cool to see. And I'm like, wow, now they're part of the special story of the house. A story that will continue to be written. Please come visit us, but you might end up staying. <laughs> I think you right. often find people that come to these smaller communities, especially here in eastern North Carolina. They fall in love with the water, but more than that, they fall in love with the people. And another way Ellen is showcasing the community at the hotel is through partnerships with other local small businesses. Flowers in the guest rooms come from a local farm, the sweets from a local bakery. Even the art on the wall is by local artists and can be bought on the spot by the guest at the hotel. For more on that and much more, check out the full conversation with Ellen on an all new episode of the People in Places Extra podcast. You can listen starting tomorrow on the WNCT podcast network.